Hello everyone, this is Savvy Nick, and today we'll be installing Manjaro Linux. Manjaro is known as being a very simplistic Linux operating system that many people love to use because it's so easy to use. So what we'll do is we'll jump right into the install. The first thing we're going to do is download Manjaro from their website, which is manjaro.org. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description below. And then we'll follow that up by creating a bootable USB disk using Belena Etcher. And finally, we'll go through the install. So let's first start out by downloading Manjaro. On their website, right now you'll see a Try Manjaro, or if you scroll down a little bit, you should get a pop-up where you can go to the downloads page. You can do either or. Let's just go to the downloads page right now. And on the downloads page, you get a few options up top. Uh, official, community, ARM V8, and 32-bit. So the official is 64-bit, uh, and that's really what we're going to go ahead and need and download since we have a 64-bit processor on our target computer, which we plan on installing Manjaro on. So then you get an option of what kind of desktop environment you want to use. You got XFCE, KDE, this Architect, and GNOME. As you see, I'm scrolling over, you, it tells you what they're best for. So for people who want a reliable and fast desktop, you can get this desktop environment. Uh, Built-in interface to easily access and install themes, widgets, etc, etc. It says it's flashy and uh, resource heavy. Architect, set up and configure Manjaro in every detail using the CLI and GNOME for people who want a very modern and simple desktop. Most people are probably going to go between these three. I'll go ahead and just install a reliable and fast desktop. I'll do XFCE. So click on that. Let's go ahead and scroll down until we see the download. So this is again the 64-bit version. Go ahead and download this. No thanks, it's take me to the download. And just give it a few seconds, it should start, and it did. You can see it started up here. Don't mind everything else. It's about two gigs here, so it's gonna take a little bit. And now since I have my ISO downloaded from Manjaro.org, I'm gonna go ahead and flash a USB with the image. In order to do this, I'm going to go ahead and use Belena Etcher. I like using this app because it's user friendly and very fast to use. Much faster than some of the other bootable disk creators out there. Other apps that you can get. So what we'll do is go ahead and insert our USB into our computer which we downloaded the ISO on. And you can see it just came up after I inserted it in. So after our USB is shown up we'll go ahead and select an image. And the image that we want to select is of course the Manjaro ISO file that we had just recently downloaded. Go ahead, open that up. Again, you can download Belena for both Windows or Mac OS. And then after you have selected these two, go ahead and hit the flash button. Go ahead and allow it to flash the disk. And once this is over, you will have a bootable disk created, which you can go ahead and use in a computer of your choice. So the next step is actually going to be using this USB after it's done flashing, going to the computer that you want to install Manjaro on, and then you'll have to actually load into BIOS. So you'll have to look that up for your computer because computers have different ways of getting to the BIOS screen. And once you're in there, you can adjust the boot order and go ahead and boot off the disk that you're creating. Mine would be called Sandisk something media. That would be in the uh, boot menu and you can change the boot order. So this would be first and then the installer will pop up after saving and exiting from the boot order setup. And here we go, the flash is complete. So now you can go ahead and take the USB out of your computer and take it over to the computer that you want to install Manjaro on and then change the boot order 
and you'll have the installer. So let's go to that. So if you were successful in changing up your boot order properly and booting into the live Manjaro disk, you'll see something similar to this. Um, I'm going to leave all the defaults here. You can change uh, the time, what kind of keyboard you have. So I have a United States keyboard, what language I want. Um, language, of course, here for me is uh, English. Drivers, you can select between free drivers and non-free drivers. I'll go ahead and select the free ones. Uh, what it's going to boot, so you can see that we have the Manjaro x86 or 64-bit XFCE desktop environment selected here. Um, so if you're okay with everything on the top, you can go ahead and just hit enter on this option and it will boot into a live installer of Manjaro. Now don't get confused because we still haven't installed Manjaro on our computer yet. What we've done instead is booted into a live image. So what we'll do is go ahead and exit out of here and then we want to find the install Manjaro Linux. And then we're going to go ahead and double click on that. And now we can go ahead through here and in install Manjaro on our computer. Go ahead and select your language, hit next. Select the time zone, I'm going to select Tijuana here. Hit next. Then what's your default language? English is mine. What type of English? You can also select that, I really don't care. So I'll keep going. I'm going to erase the disk, so everything on the disk will be erased. Make sure that you do not have any information on the disk that you're currently trying to write to because it will be replaced with Manjaro and you won't have any data left. Uh, we won't encrypt the system. It just tells you here what we have uh, available. So current is 64 gigs of unused space. Afterwards, Manjaro will be installed and it will be 64 gigs. Uh, bootloader location, the default's fine. Go ahead. And... So it's asking for what your name is. I'm just going to put set in there for me. And what I'll do is automatically generate a user and a computer name. So you can go ahead and change this if you want. I'm just going to keep the defaults. And then go ahead and put yourself in a password that you want to use. Mm, I like logging in automatically without asking for passwords, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, you can also select this to use the same password for the administrator account. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create uh, a new password. So uh, I went ahead and did that. Uh, this is for, of course, the root user. Go ahead, select next, and now it's telling you a summary of what it's going to do. So we want to. This is where we're telling Manjaro to go ahead and write all the changes to the disk so at this point you will be overwriting whatever is on the disk the hard drive disk currently so it's making you so it's warning you one more time that it's going to install now so we're going to go ahead and hit install now and at this point we are installing Manjaro on our computer. So this will take a little while and what I'll do is go ahead and fast forward through this a little bit for you guys. And once the installer is all done you'll go ahead and see a screen very similar to this. I'll go ahead and select the restart now option, hit done, that will restart the live disk and boot you into your new Manjaro Linux desktop. And now welcome to your new 
Manjaro Linux desktop. Let's look around here just a little bit. And we will see what's going on here. You know, I kind of like the layout of this. Kind of reminds me of uh, Windows, actually. Now let's see here. Yep, start menu here, basically. You got uh, different applications or folders for applications. Let's check out games. Steam, okay. Ah, very nice. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, look, you even have Microsoft Word online. Interesting. I must have copied that or... Or maybe they even have Office on here. File system, let's click here. Yeah, it really does remind me of uh, Windows. But uh, congratulations on installing your Manjaro desktop, XFCE specifically. Please like, comment, and subscribe below. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I look forward to seeing you in another one. Thanks for watching.